Good day everybody, it's Jerry from Bullshit Corner. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are heading out to the ghost public land use area, which is in the traditional lands of the indigenous people of Treaty 7. Heading out for a midweek, start of the weekend camping trip. Just kind of get out. Now, coming down here through Wipers here, if you turn left, right where the big ranch is, that'll take you up to Fecal Matter Ridge. If you want to have some disgusting camping, but nice views. And I'm just heading out further along Wipers Valley Road to find a spot that is accessible for Steve to get in with his diesel pickup truck. Just trying to scout out the location. There's a fire pit there. There's another one over there. Looks like it's pretty decent. Looks like someone tried to chop down that tree that's still green at the top. Fell into the other ones. I can just put a winch around it. Yard her out. That's a fair size. Probably drag it out truck or something saw something glistening in my eye look at that found a quarter found a quarter in the woods kind of like this spot I think it'd be pretty good set up camp another spot here someone just left their awning there's a fire pit it's a nice view. That tree is pretty much dead. Doesn't look like there's any green left at the top. Everything's kind of turned brown. Probably because everybody has carved into it and destroyed the bark. And basically once you tear a strip all the way around, the tree's like dead. Gonna set up right here. I need to sharpen my chainsaw because there's a couple nails in that tree. Lots of Lots of sun to the south. So for the solar panel, so I get set up like right here. Since the Russian hot tent I got doesn't have an insulated floor, I'm gonna use a moving blanket if it doesn't decide to blow away. It's supposed to be nice though, but these clouds are looking like there's a storm brewing in. I have a couple options here. You can see that nail that I hit, unfortunately. I do. I could sharpen it. This time of year, the days are getting so short. I do got a spare chain. I think I'll just change that out. And then sharpen it at a later date. Yeah, things are kind of just all getting set up inside. Got an old five gallon shit bucket this time around. After the last camping trip with Steve, camping on the ridge, fecal matter everywhere. Yeah. It's so gross. There's so many people too. I got up the next following morning and the place was packed. Had to walk forever to take a dump. Got the solar panel up. Charging. That's going to take forever to charge that. It's not even half done yet. So I get to utilize my battery power accordingly. 
Okay, get this tool out. Take the battery out for safety. All right. Loosen this off. Yeah, not sure what's going on. I went to go use the GoPro and battery died. It's fully charged before I left. I hardly even used it. It's not cold enough to to worry about that. There we go. Now we're pumping out the juice. Solar panels are just a pump and it is friggin' warm out. Last year at this time, we came out camping, it was cold and snow, but I gotta get out of these winter pants. You just never know what the weather's gonna be like. And fortunately, it is uh, way too warm for these. All right, GoPro's charging. So I got the DJI. I'm telling you, this new chain. Cuts through just like butter. She don't take long this time of year. Even though the sun's behind the clouds, she's starting to get dark, so wood is chopped. Kindling. Should have enough to go for tonight, I hope. So this weekend I'm trying something different. You know, it's getting cold. I don't like trying to do dishes when it starts getting freezing. So I figured I'd just get some takeout. So I got a bucket of KFC down there. Got a salad right there, pepperoni sticks, beer, of course. I think it's motherfucking beer time. Later on, it's gonna be fireball whiskey time. But right now, I'm gonna grab a caribou green. All right, you know what time it is? It's motherfucking beer time. That's what time it is. It's a lot of work to be a one-man camp. Doing everything. Really want to fly the drone today. Except it's a little too windy. Too windy to fly. We get some pretty good views. It's going to be a good weekend to try out the heater. Put that new chain on the chainsaw. It kicks butt now. I'm actually really impressed. There's nothing too terribly special about this spot. It's just accessible for Steve with a three-quarter ton diesel. Last winter, we actually camped farther down there. There's a gas plant there. But this view's okay. I got a little ravine, right? Where I pulled in earlier was at the far end, but I didn't like the way the trees were. And what I mean by that is when you're setting up your tent, you don't want to set it up somewhere where a questionable tree is going to fall on you. <laughs> COVID. I can't say that word. I'll get censored. You want to set up your tent somewhere where <clears throat> the possibility of a tree falling down on you is going to be pretty slim. And over there, there were some questionable trees. Over here, it's a little bit more, more flatter. I got the little ravine thing here. It's a little bit more off the road, even though it doesn't really matter anyways. Fuck, I'm only 100 meters off the road. 
I mean, the road's even like right there. The road's like 20 meters from where that trailer is. <clears throat> was actually pulled in here last winter. I was gonna camp in there, but not really a good spot either. Steve's coming out, but it's gonna be dark by the time he gets out here. Cause he's not leaving Calgary till seven o'clock. And by seven o'clock, it'll be dark. It's like four o'clock now, and she's getting pretty dim. I mean, if the sun would come out from behind those clouds, it'd be all right. But uh, drinking some beers, this is probably going to be the last, I said that last time too, last camping trip for a while. But an opportunity came out. Next couple days going to be really warm. I just, uh, I just don't like camping, you know, in November and December because the days are so short. Like another few more weeks, it's going to be dark at like five o'clock. It's going to be dark still, like 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning. You know, I don't like camping in that. I usually shut her down for a few months. Get back out camping at the end of February, beginning of March. Days are getting a little longer. Days are getting warmer. Hmm. Why did I build that heater then? I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to force myself to come out this winter camping. It's going to be a while before um, I can take the big tent out. MJ got herself a puppy. It's a... Uh, St. Bernard, Bernese Cross or something, 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 named him Jasper. He's got rabies, he likes to bite, but uh, once he grows up a little bit, he'll be taking him out camping, be looking forward to that anyways. Cheers everybody, motherfucking beer time. Oh. So I did some Googling, Matt Brown passed away suddenly on January 5th, 2013, Left behind his companion Jennifer and their seven-month-old daughter. I'm not sure what the significance of this spot is, though. I think it's going to be all right. Not hooking up the uh, stove if I don't have to. But I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I got the case open a bit. That's to help case it gets uh, starts getting too warm. Shouldn't. Oh, such a nice view. I don't have the fancy door on. I'm just using the zipper in door. Just for the reason I got the air hose pumped in. Pretty stoked. Can't we try it out? All right, I'm just warning you guys. Don't want you guys to cringe too much. That's the camping meal of champions right there. Three pieces of KFC and some motherfucking coleslaw. That's enough to clean you out. You know, trying out my new shitter. Looking at the mountains tomorrow. As some vehicle drives by, should be pretty epic. It is so quiet. Right. See if we can get a fire lit. Just gotta wait a few hours for Steve to show up. He does have the locations via GPS, so if he uses something like a Venza Maps, he'll know exactly where I'm at. Got my winter toque on, or hat again, with the little fold down ear thingies. Steve showed up. He's camping in the Bear Burrito. (laughs) 
I think I should be should be good with the hose right there. Let's get this thing fired on. So I get some heat through there. It uses a lot of power at startup. All right, we're rocking. Uh-oh, I just got an E5 error. All right, we're going again. Turn up the pump a little bit more. So it pumps a little faster. It is kind of windy out maybe. Maybe the wind blew the flame out, I don't know. This is the trial and error. It's actually pretty good. About 12, 13 watts. Well, I guess we're gonna see what happens. I'm either gonna freeze to death or the heater's gonna keep me warm. It's a gorgeous morning though. <sighs> So we're at flaw number one, the fuel line. It's got a little burn hole in it. Most likely from touching up against that clamp that got warm. So I'm just gonna cut it, shorten it up, reattach it. Oh, well, we're back in business. Steve had noticed, I actually cut it out right at the piece, but a little pinhole. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. Wild horses. Yeah, there's a herd of these wild horses that have been roaming around for the past 100 years. We harvested the rest of the tree and split her up for tonight. Yeah, he did. That piece is pretty knotted. Another long piece has nails. This is my score I found in the woods. Yeah, just right up over there. Came to a tree, somebody cut down and almost tripped over this come in handy so the wild horses have gone somewhere over yonder but they must do a loop because there's like a trail through the forest right there and that's where we see them come out and they were over here and then they came over here and they went over to that bush and then they went behind that bush and they crossed over there and then I don't know if they do another big loop around, but that's where they disappeared to. Maybe I'll see them again tomorrow morning while I'm packing up. Oh. It's getting chilly tonight. Hopefully no issues with the heater. There's another person camping. Way down there. Another person camping over there. Steve's got his headlight. Yellow bars. Once it hits the red bars, start having some heat come through the tube. Come on, actually all red. Still a little chilly. Ten minutes with the furnace going, and I am toasty warm.
Now it's about 8.30 in the morning. Bunch of people came last night, parked camp down there. <sighs> Diesel heater ran great all night. Once I fixed that fuel line problem. She sipped a lot of fuel. Like over half that tank last night. Had her going for 10 hours though. Yeah, it worked good. Had her just pumping. Just a pumping. It's probably about minus 10 degrees outside. And the thing that I hate the most about cold weather camping is packing everything up. So now it's time to down and dirty. Uh, that's my crap bag. And I'm going to take it home because it's a bag in a bag, so not to worry about spillage. I'm not going to leave any exposed fecal matter around. Actually, this spot was actually pretty good. There is no fecal matter that i seen, so to speak. However, if you go to the ridge, it is, I call it fecal matter ridge because it's full of crap, human feces everywhere. I was gonna burn this on the fire, but I don't feel like having a fire. I just gotta take it home, toss it in the garbage. It's always the coldest before dawn. Soon the sunlight will come and warm up, all packed up, ready to go. Once again, leave no trace behind, except for idiots who left the awning. Lots of firewood for those people there if they want. The abandoned camper that no one came out to. Yeah, time to lock and load. Shut her down, just got home. Tossed the fecal matter into my bin that someone else put dog crap in. There you go, shut her down. 